Hey guys, so this weekend I have got a uh, small little batch of fingers that I've got to process and I thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, demonstrate um, one of the things I've been working on lately which is um, a better way of filtering. So as you guys know, um, using the AP process you end up uh, dislodging a lot of the, f uh, well most of the foils from your fingers which then end up down there in your uh, acid peroxide solution or your copper chloride leach and those of you familiar with the process will know that one of the biggest pains is actually to um, filter that leach to get the uh, all the small particles basically of uh, recover all the small particles of gold from that so generally if we pan this way and we zoom out a bit so normally I just use my uh, Buchner funnel and uh, filter flask with, you see the vacuum line connected to the back and I've got a vacuum pump just off the side here. Now that works relatively well, uh, although what pretty much happens is eventually uh, the little holes in there, there's nothing in there yet, um, th that's basically where all the filtration is happening. The filter paper blocks up and you end up uh, basically running at, at a few drips if you're lucky. Uh, which is pretty frustrating. Now obviously the objective of filtering is to get the smallest particles trapped in your filter but also to have uh, as much of the liquid go through as quickly as possible. So I've come up with a, a solution that seems to work relatively well and I'll just kind of share that with you guys now in case you ever run into this problem. So uh, this is kind of based on what I've seen around so there, there are there is a method where uh, a lot of um, chemists use a material called sea light which they line their filter paper with and then they filter through that as well as the filter paper and that, that does a, a relatively similar thing but I found with the type of solutions that I use sea light doesn't work very well you end up with a gelatinous mess and so I've kind of come up with my own um, hillbilly version of that, that does a kind of a similar thing so we've got our uh, blender here and we've got a roll of paper towels so I'm going to grab say uh, I think about uh, let's go for three three sheets of the paper towel tear it up and you can you can tear it up into a, a few smaller bits basically um, I tried blending dry paper towel and it didn't work too well so what we're going to try now is just um, kind of do this semi wet so we're going to I'm going to poke the paper towel in there. I'm going to give it a, a little bit of water. Uh, not too much, just just enough. What we're looking to make is kind of a uh, kind of a mushy paper mache type consistency in there. So hopefully this works. Yep, seems to work. So you see see that we're we're kind of achieving a. Uh, it's, it's kind of chopping the chopping the paper towel up pretty fine. It's looking pretty good, nice and quick. Just when the lid's off, it's uh, it's kind of safe to jam your fingers in there. It's got an interlock. I think it's still looking a little bit stringy, but we'll just uh, mix it around a bit. Maybe give it a little bit more water. Just with the spray bottle, just gonna spray some of the stuff on the sides down. Uh, <laughs> um, actually using um, dry paper towel in the shredder was not a particularly successful attempt. It, it would work okay, but it, it took quite a long time. I think uh, doing it wet is pretty much the solution. Let's give it a little bit more water. Should be okay. And we'll do a little bit more blending. Unfortunately, it's kind of getting poked out to the sides now too quickly. It's just getting thrown out, but that's feeling pretty good actually. We've got a pretty good consistency there. Let's just see if uh, we can get a couple more, couple more blends into it. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but I think we're going to have to live with that as is. So so the idea is to make your uh, to, 
turn your paper into a, a, a bit more of a mushy substance. Okay, now that that's relatively chopped up, let's uh, move that out of the way a little bit. And bring the old Buchner funnel in. So we're just going to grab a regular filter paper. Okay, position that. Get some vacuum going. And uh, just spray it down as normal. Okay. Then without the vacuum going, we want to take our mushy, um, mushy paper and just kind of evenly distribute that. Kind of looks like that. Just evenly distribute that over the top. This looks okay, a little bit finer chopped up may have been good, but this will be good for a demonstration. Yeah. Almost there. It's a nice, uh, relatively quick way of doing this, which is not too bad and a decent improvement in uh, filterability. Okay, so show you guys what that looks like so it's kind of hard to see there but you can kind of see I've just basically squished all those bits of uh, bits of paper over the top of the actual filter paper the bits of paper towel and um, now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a vacuum so you'll see all of the water being sucked out of the um, out of the towel up here And um, that's fine. I'm just going to dispose of this water and then we're basically ready to start filtering our uh, very dirty solution. Okay, we're all set up guys. So uh, my preferred way of doing this is I've got the, um, the catch container right up against the bucket here. Bucket contains all the foils and the uh, copper chloride solution. And I like to use a little uh, container like this to grab some solution. Pour it, pour it in there and then hang it on the side of the bucket so uh, there's no spillage. So we'll see if we can uh, kind of demonstrate this live. Not sure how well that's going to work. It's getting rid of all the drips. You can see the uh, bottom of the funnel there. See if things are going really well at the moment. Um, obviously with a new filter paper it would have gone pretty well anyway. So I'll go through a few more, uh, a few more cycles and, uh, and then I'll report back um, comparing this system to, uh, to basically not doing it this way. Okay, see you guys a bit later. Okay guys, so when this uh, gets to the 500 milliliter mark, I will have filtered through the same uh, filter up there uh, already 200, uh, sorry, two liters, so 2,000 milliliters of this AP solution. And it's just going a bit slow now because I've turned off the vacuum pump. But this is going way better than any other uh, AP solution that I've ever filtered. So I've probably taken about 15 minutes since the last time I, uh, I was on and so be, to be able to, uh, to do 2 liters of AP through the same very small filter uh, in 15 minutes like this and it's coming out crystal clear at the bottom is really good. So I'll just turn on the vacuum again to give you guys an idea of what the flow looks like now. So there's still, uh, there's still a steady stream coming out like that. Um, we just let it settle, yeah, so it looks about like that at the moment. So still going, uh, still going relatively f uh, fast, uh, fairly unbelievably fast actually. 
Okay guys, so I'm just getting to the end of uh, my 4 litres or so of AP that I started with and um, as you can see at the end we're still getting a very decent stream so the total time to filter that uh, 4 litres of um, acid peroxide was about 40 minutes or so which is absolutely incredible, that's the fastest by far that I've ever filtered that much of a solution so if I um, come out a bit here, it's not quite done yet but you can see there uh, we're looking pretty good at the top and uh, down here we've only got uh, a little bit of gold left on the side of the bucket that needs to be washed out now but um, yeah this is, uh, is absolutely incredible it's uh, def definitely by far uh, it's the first time I've ever used uh, a single filter to filter this much AP and it's coming out like this is the little thing that I put the filter in but it's it's coming out absolutely crystal clear it's really uh, it's kind of hard to demonstrate but it's uh, it's it's taking out the finest of particles while still being able to filter after having all that solution gone through it okay guys so I've just uh, finished uh, filtering the very last of the uh, wash solution that I use to uh, clean all the foils out of the bucket and stuff like that. Still using the same filter um, as I started with and this was by far the easiest, simplest, cleanest uh, AP filtering process that I've ever been through in all of the years and I've done this many many times. So uh, yes, this was an absolutely fantastic idea, I better patent this quickly and um, it's an absolute winner like I, I wish I'd thought about this years ago because it would have saved me days and days of filtering difficult solutions so just for those of you who have uh, hung around up to now I'll just quickly um, go through a few little tips and tricks for uh, doing the AP process especially the washing part just to basically uh, kind of show you guys how I end up with as little as possible waste and, um, and do things as quickly as possible so one of the first things I do is, um, let's move this out of the way a little bit, those fingers that I've drained off all of the concentrated AP solution, I transfer them into a, a sealed container like this, and then I, I have a container of um, wash, wash solution like that, and I reuse that container of wash solution all the time, just filter it, pour it back in. And so pour some of that into this thing, shake 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 in all directions and then I've got a cap that I just drilled some little holes in and um, I'll basically use a funnel in in that bottle and tip from this one into that one and that makes all of the little gold foils that were still stuck on the fingers accumulate in there and then I put that through the filter as well the other trick is I have a wash bottle C2C wash like a, a spray bottle that is specifically for this process so the filtered solution from that I pour into the spray bottle and then I use that to clean out things like the big bucket. So that way um, the, the wash solution, slowly I, I do use a little bit of uh, fresh water, but the wash solution only really very slowly um, accumulates. So, so there's very little solution to get rid of here. Um, the old system where every finger is individually sprayed down to remove every last full is just crazy uh, crazy in terms of the amount of waste that it generates as well as how long it takes so this is how I do it um, I've, had a, I've had a look at these fingers many times and they're practically clean like there's the odd foil but I can live with um, losing 10 foils if I'm doing it in 10 minutes rather than uh, you know, rather than spending an hour spraying them so I, I basically do the fill this up, shake it, empty it out probably three or four times and by then there's very little foils coming out of that. So yeah, just uh, to finish us off, you guys can see what I've got there, looking, uh, looking pretty good. And just to give you some kind of context, uh, these foils here, same kind of thing. Um, as you can see there's a whole bunch of regular filters in there and they're the, they're the fairly large size uh, Buchner funnel filters and as you can see I went through a whole bunch of them and I think roughly doing the same amount of foils this was probably about half a day's worth of um, filtering versus probably about an hour or so for that. So yeah, hopefully that can be useful to you guys and uh, I'll see you next time.